uh, for our guys and, and great crowd. It was fun uh, to have a packed house. Thanks for all uh, K-State Nation for coming out and uh, supporting us. Uh, I know that means the world to our, to our guys and to uh, have the amount of people we had uh, for our pregame walk when the bus is pulled up to coming out of the tunnel. Um, for the start of the game, and, and they were electric for, throughout the whole game. And, and so uh, hats off to our great fan base. Um, I thought our guys played really well. Uh, I, I know there was going to be – SEMO's a good team. They're going to win a lot of games. Um, they play hard. Um, we had a couple of hiccups early on, but uh, we kind of got our traction and footing. Uh, explosive plays on offense are something that we've really um, kind of emphasized and, and knew we could get with some of the playmakers that we have and with Will throwing the ball around. And uh, um, I can't say enough about RJ Garcia. You know, um, he keeps playing better and better and more confident. Um, Jaden Jackson came up with a big time play. Uh, we rotated both running backs. Um, and then on defense, uh, you know, I, only thing that we need to do better is get off blocks on the perimeter a little bit. Uh, but, you know, they didn't rush for, what, six yards or 20 yards or something. So when you hold the team uh, to that few yards rushing and you shut them out, um, it's a pretty dang good uh, game. And then finally for me, and then I'll turn it over to you guys, Chris Tennant. Uh, really happy for him. Uh, he kicked off the ball exceptionally well. And then uh, to get the opportunity to come in and, and have confidence in banging that 50-yarder. Yeah, um, yeah, it did play out really well for us. We we knew we were going to have to play a lot of guys. We were going to play uh, a lot of younger players, redshirt freshmen and stuff, uh, a lot of newer players, but then a ton of true freshmen. And that's something that uh, we know we have to do. You know that we, our depth is our young players, and uh, um, pleased with those guys. I think did some hit some home runs on the recruiting class because there's a lot of young kids that played for us but uh, uh, they're gonna have to play for us throughout the year somewhere along the line so I was excited for those guys to get some reps and Will um, I thought it was I thought it was really sharp really good he got hit on the one that got intercepted um, and uh, I, you know not, not looking at all of it he just was totally in command the, the long play to RJ he saw the pressure. He made the protection check. Uh, everything you wanted to do, they they still were bringing people. He gave RJ time to get open uh, and laid a perfect ball to him. Him taking the shot to Jaden right off the bat, I thought was a, you know we were really trying to set up a, a, a kind of a, a corner route to fill. Um, but he saw Jaden get on top and he threw a strike. And I was so happy for Jaden to be able to um, capitalize on that opportunity. So I thought Will played exceptionally well. Just was not available today. He got nicked up in practice earlier this week. It's not severe, um, and you know we'll kind of be day by day with him. What was your reaction when uh, you heard Colin call a trick play in the first half of the game? Was... It works all the time in practice, so it was uh, kind of fun to to see. And Treshawn throws the ball really well, and uh, so when he called it, they had been over pursuing so much that I really thought it was going to work. Um, and we've I've seen it a lot of times in practice. So I, I felt comfortable with the call. And it was the right time for the call. Um, and so it was, it was a great call by CK. As a defensive guy, we look at and see 11 tackles for loss. What, what does that mean? Just that we're penetrating and, and coming off the football well and, and getting off blocks and being really disruptive. Our defensive front and our linebackers, we rotated a lot of guys. And I thought they played well. Um, I, I had him suspended for a game. Um, Sieg's is going to be our starting free safety next week. Um, and uh, excited for Sieg's because um, um, he's a really good football player and he'll, he'll get a chance to play next week. Treshawn Ward, part of the QB2 battle? Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, we'll probably keep him doing what he's doing. But uh, I thought uh, it was good to see Treshawn, good to see DJ. You know, DJ quietly had – a buck and a quarter or something rushing. Um, but I thought he ran physical uh, like he always does. And, and so we need both of those guys playing at a really high level for us in our run game. Your quarterbacks went up against a good set of wide receivers. Yeah. You know, 
Uh, I thought number one was a really good receiver for them. I was pleased with Jacob Parrish. Uh, he, I think he gave up one one play, um, but uh, he battled, uh, came up with some big tackles. I think Jacob Parrish learned a lot last year from those two uh, NFL guys and Julius and Echo, and I think he's going to have a great season. Will Lee playing his first snaps for us, I thought did some really good things. Keenan Garber keeps getting better and better. So those three guys rotated a lot and uh, played a lot, and I, and I feel comfortable about our depth there. Your offensive line, you had some movements uh, across the board. They're moving Cooper over to a tackle and also Happy over to left guard. And yeah. Rotating a lot. How do you feel on what they do with the rotations? Well, you know, being down Duff, um, it creates some of that uh, um, problem that we have to move people around. We're so lucky that that Biebs can play a lot of spots so that, you know, Carver did some really good things, but we got to give him a little bit of a rest. We moved Biebs over uh, that Hadley can play both spots. To have uh, Taylor Portier back is huge for us, uh, for Liney to play, uh, for Heck to play. Um, KT, you know, played really well at left tackle. I think we played seven in the first half. Uh, and I know you wanted to get hecked in there, but Gilly was doing some good things. But then Sam played it up quite a bit in the second half. You know, we want to be able to play those eight guys. And, and, and when Duff gets back, we'll probably play a ninth or a tenth. Coach, uh, a lot of people have talked about the quarterback two situation between Jake and Avery. You get Jake the nod, or sorry, you get Avery the nod there. Um, what do you think of his defense? Yeah, it took you guys long enough to ask about that. Uh, <laughs> I thought that would have been right out of the gate. But uh, CK and I talked about it on Friday, uh, some different scenarios um, that would play out. And, and if the situation played out, we wanted to give Avery um, some some solid series where we could evaluate him, give him an opportunity to run the offense where it wasn't just a drive, where it was going to be a, a handful of drives. Uh, I, you know, He was under control. He was in command. Um, he's really, really fast, and I think you guys can tell that. He's he's uh, got great, great speed. Um, he, I thought he put the ball in a couple of really good spots uh, today, you know, to uh, Jace Brown, true freshman, to Trey Spivey, true freshman. Um, so I thought he did some really good things. We'll kind of evaluate and see, um, you know, how, how he did CK will. But I, I was so happy with Avery, so pleased for him to be able to get in the end zone in his first game. Uh, and, and there's no doubt you could hear the ovation when he came in. Yeah, absolutely. There's nothing better than game reps because there's 52,000 people here, and um, there's you know the, the lights are the brightest, and, and um, you know everybody's eyes are on you. We we've, we've got which is fun. We I think Kenny told me we played 77 players. It, it's awesome for us to be able to uh, tomorrow uh, spend the whole day basically really looking at those reps to see are we getting the, uh, the right guys the the enough reps or do we need to move some people around special teams wise with all the reps we have but uh those kids have worked so hard in fall camp they deserve to play obviously had a lot of guys out there defensively so a lot of tackles were spread around but you do have austin moore and kobe savage kind of at the top yeah. of the list i know austin's got a, a potential to to just expand on what he did last year but how great was it to see kobe out there yeah doing him yeah, those two played really well. Austin, uh, I, I think, is one of the best linebackers in the country. And he and Kobe on the same side are always kind of on our weak side of the formation. Uh, those two work so well together. But it's so fun to see, you know, Light, I, I lit up when I see Kobe Savage running around out there. That kid loves to play this game, and, and he made some big hits. And, and Austin had a number of tackles for loss and stuff, and, and uh, always going to be a great player for us. FCS program to start the season in a day and age where FCS teams are, are winning more and more against yep. the FBS competition. Is that something that you, you kind of get more attention from your guys coming from an FCS program originally? Um, you know, I, I, they know my background. They know Rowles. They know um, Klanderman's background. There's good football players there. You know, uh, Josh Hayes got drafted and he played there. And uh, Siegel's with us now, and, and we have some of those guys. But uh, uh, we were not going to take this team lightly. They're, they're a good team. They're a playoff team. And, and uh, I told Coach Tukey, he's got a good football team. They, they, play, they play hard. they got good players. And the heat was crazy in, in warm-ups and in the early yep. stages of this game. Was there anything that you and the staff did to kind of manage that 
You know, I didn't think it was that hot out there. Uh, I really didn't. A um, couple things, and Coach True and I talked. It's it was never a bad day to play football weather-wise, and you get an opportunity to play. We've had so many more hot practices uh, and and humidity and stuff that um, we didn't. We did a, a little bit differently in warm-ups of just trying to keep them a little bit in the shade. But it's a far cry from what it was in middle August when we were practicing outside. He's really good at it, and he keeps getting better, and he wants to be – he doesn't want to be a running back. He wants to be an every down back, and that's what I was excited about. He, he stoned some people on some on some pass rushes and, and runs the ball really well. We're just – DJ's going to keep getting better and better. Just He just needs those game reps too. You had a really good defensive performance today. Was it fair to call it one of the bright spots in the interior? Or did you think yeah, Uso got a chance to play. We didn't know if he would be able to play, and so – you know, we were able to rotate He Banks and, and Damian, and, and it's great to keep all three of those guys fresh because all three of those guys are playmakers. Anything else? All right. Thank you. Okay. We'll see you guys.